Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the CSS Battle series where I try to complete one of these challenges from the CSS Battle website. The challenge is to try and replicate one of these images as well as possible, but also to use as little code as possible. I picked out some interesting ones for today. I think they're gonna be a bit harder than the ones I did in the previous episode. So let's go ahead and get started. The first challenge is called Forking Crazy. It's from the first battle ever created on this website. And it looks interesting to say the least. When I first saw this I had no idea how I'm gonna replicate it. But I might have some ideas now, we'll see. To get things started, let's go ahead and set up the background and also this main part of the fork, which I might have an idea how to do. I think I'm gonna make a rectangle and I'll set the border radius for the bottom part to 50%. Let's give it a try. The positioning doesn't look bad so far. Now I somehow need to figure out how to hide this top part because as you can see this line right here is lower than what it is on my screen. So I think I'm gonna do that with overflow hidden just like I did in the last episode. Let's give it a try. This looks okay for now. The next thing I want to do is to make these sticks. I think I'm gonna call them sticks. And I'm gonna make four of them here and then I'm gonna also use the same class to put one down here. Let's see if I can uh, make that work. Okay, that actually doesn't look bad for now. I'm gonna repeat the same thing for the next three sticks and then I'm also gonna put one at the bottom here. We are looking pretty good so far. We almost got a fork. The only thing I need to do now is make these parts round. Um, I think I'm gonna use another fork for that. This time the fork is gonna be the color of the background. So I'm basically gonna insert that fork in here. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but that was my first idea and I think I'm gonna stick to it. I have done it, I think this is going to be my final result. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a perfect score. I can see some positioning issues here. Another thing is I ended up using a lot of characters. I actually have more than a thousand characters, which is not good at all and not the point of this uh, battle. You're supposed to use as little code as possible, but if you watched my previous episode, you know that that's not what I'm going to be focusing on. I just want to finish the challenge and get as perfect of an image as I can. So let's go ahead and submit this. And it is a 98.4% match. You know what? I'll take that. On to the next one. Next up we have target number 42 called Baby. It's from the battle called Transition and it's this cute looking red baby and I'm gonna try and recreate it. Let's get started. And just like that I have the head of the baby. Never in my life did I think I would say that sentence but that is the case in this situation. 
the positioning is promising so far. I have the main part set up. Now the most difficult part, the eyes, the nose and the hair. Let's start off easy and let's make the eyes. I think the eyes are perfectly positioned. In case the typing was too fast for you, I'm gonna really quickly explain how I did this. So I made a class called Eye that has all the properties that are gonna be the same for both eyes. And that is the background color, the border radius, the width and the height, they're the same size, and then the position which is absolute. I've made the eyes relative to the head. So the head has a position relative, and then the eyes are position absolute. And then I made separate classes called E1 and E2 for the left and the right eye. Obviously the eyes have a different position, so they have different top and left properties. Moving on to the mouth of the baby. Again, what a weird thing to say. There it is, it looks perfect and at this point whenever I move the slider I'm basically taking off the baby's hair which is kind of weird but I am very satisfied with the positioning of all the elements. Now let's move on to the hardest part which are these circles up here. I think they're circles, I'm not sure. That's how I'm gonna try and make them and then I'm gonna hide them. I'm gonna make the overflow of the baby's head hidden. Let's go ahead and try it out. Alright, so I did a couple of things. Uh, first of all, I made a new class called Skin Color, which I used for all the elements inside that are this yellowish color. I did this because I found myself typing the color over and over again and I just wanted to kind of simplify that. Also I made these big circles on the top and I positioned them hopefully correctly and now the only thing left to do is to write the most satisfying line and that is overflow hidden and I think it looks great if not perfect. I'm not gonna make any more adjustments to this, I'm just gonna go ahead and submit. This was a very satisfying challenge for some reason. We have a 99.9% .9 score and there goes my satisfaction. Let's go to the next one. The last challenge for today is called coronavirus. I thought it would be fitting for the never-ending quarantine life that we're still living in. It's from the battle called Block and it's this interesting bacteria looking shape. The first thing that comes to mind is this big circle, so let's go ahead and do that. I feel like I'm getting a lot better at positioning things. As you can see the circle is placed perfectly. Uh, the next thing I want to do is the smaller circles that are inside the big circle. At this point, this is some standard stuff. The big circle is going to have position relative and the smaller ones are going to be position absolute. And we're just going to have a separate class for all of them to position them differently and to make them different sizes. I think I've also placed all the smaller circles perfectly. At least I can't really see any difference uh, using the slider. The last thing I need to do for this one are these sticks that are pointing out. Uh, obviously I'm gonna have one class for all of them and then I'm gonna place them differently with a separate class. Also I have to do uh, a certain rotation for these two. 
so I'm probably gonna rotate them for like 30 degrees or something like that. But let's start off by making the class. Okay, so there's a few things you can notice here. First of all, the positioning of the stick is perfect, which is good. Second of all, right now the stick is in front of the smaller circles and it needs to be behind them. So we're gonna have to change the order of the div elements. And third of all, I'm not sure, but I think all of the sticks are the same size. So I think all of these properties can stay in the stick class which is the class for all of the sticks, no matter where they are. The only thing I need to change is the rotation of them. But again, I'm not sure about this, I need to test it out first. Let's go ahead and fix all of these things. This is as good as it gets. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. As you can see I had to tweak these numbers and they ended up having some odd numbers in the end. But that's okay, I think the result is gonna be almost perfect. Let's just hope we don't get a 99.99% .99 match again. And there it is. What a way to finish this video. A 100% match. I gotta be honest, that's really nice to see. Anyways, that's it for this video. We had some really interesting challenges today. Leave a like on the video if you want to keep the series going. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.